Question number two, practice problem two D. A solid vertical cylinder. Now I will continue with the solution of this one. Let me clean first the board. So vertical, a solid vertical cylinder is rotating with an angular speed uh, of uh, whose radius measures 10 kilogram and reduces one meter, rotates with an angular speed of seven radian per second about a fixed vertical axis through its center. A 0.25 kilogram piece of putty is dropped vertically at a point of 0.8 meter from the cylinder's center of rotation and sticks the cylinder. Determine the final angular speed of the system. So we are going to do this now. Uh, cylinder, it's a uh, it is a moment inertia equation, one over two mr squared. Let's record the given. So uh, putting is something like a chewing game or play doll. You, you are going to drop this uh, uh, put it onto the surface of the cylinder and it will stick. But initially we have only one uh, object which is in rotational motion, which is the cylinder. Uh, but later when you drop this uh, put it onto the surface of cylinder, it will start r rotating together with the cylinder. So in this case, we are going to have finally with two components, but initially system has only one component which is rotating. It is the cylinder. OK, let's record the given of the question. As I said, cylinder is the first component. So I will record the given for the cylinder. Mass of the cylinder is given capital M because as I remember, one component will be greater in mass. Other component will be smaller in mass. Capital M is the one for greater in mass, 10 kilogram cylinder. And the radius of the cylinder is one meter, capital R is one meters, which rotates with an angular speed of seven radian per second. So this belong, this initial uh, angular speed only belongs to cylinder because pulley is not initially in circular motion. That's why uh, it's at rest. So initial angular speed only belongs to the cylinder itself. So seven radian per second. But later this putty is dropped onto the surface. As you see, it is dropped. Initially it's up there. It's not spinning. It's not rotating. But finally it's dropped onto the surface and starts and uh, following a circular path. So I'm going to record the given for the putty. Putty. Uh, mass of the putty is given 0.25 kilograms. Small m because its mass is small. Small m. 0.25 kilogram. And dropped vertically at the point of 0.9, but finally, not initially, it is the final radius. Initially, put it is not on the surface of the cylinder, put it is not in circular motion. So of course, put is uh, moment of inertia will be zero, uh, but later after when it sticks onto the surface, because it starts following a circular path, so it will have a moment of inertia, of course. So uh our final i will record only our final uh 0.9 uh, meter so determine the final angular speed of the system because it's talking about the system it's common to both cylinder and put it omega final is the question we will find that okay so uh let's calculate the moment inertia first because we know that cylinder has a moment inertia equation 1 over 2 m r squared. Let's calculate moment of inertia of the cylinder. Uh, I cylinder initial 1 over 2 m r squared. 1 over 2 m is in the question given as 10, r is given as 1 and 1 squared. So answer is in here 5 kilogram meter squared. This is the cylinder's uh, moment of inertia initial. And of, because the cylinder's shape is not changing, even axis of rotation of the cylinder is not changing, before and after, cylinder will have the same moment of inertia. So I cylinder final, let me record it as, again, equation will be a 1 over 2 mr squared. Again, it's going to have a mass 10, and radius is, uh, again, 1. So final moment of inertia, yeah, after the putty, sticks on the surface again cylinder will have the same moment of inertia five kilogram times meter squared but initially putty is not in circular motion that's why initial moment of inertia of the putty is going to be uh, zero 
it's not following a circular path, just say at rest, so you cannot calculate a moment of inertia in this case, because moment of inertia is about rotational motion, if an object is rotating, or, or a circular motion, which is in a circular path. None of them, that's why initial moment of inertia to put it is zero, it's in your hand. But later, when it sticks on the surface of the uh, cylinder in this situation, it will start following a circular path, we are going to treat this put as a point mass about an axis, and we know that equation for that. So, put a final will be point mass about an axis. So, m r squared m put it multiplied by r final put it squared is the moment of inertia. So, m is given as 0.25, r final is 0.9. When we square them, answer will be 0.20 according to my mouse. I wrote like this, kilogram meter squared. This is, okay, switch off your microphone, please, because my sound is coming back to me. Okay, so um, this is the final uh, moment of inertia of the pudding. Now we are ready for uh, calculating the, by, by using the uh, conservation of angular momentum. So initial systems, initial moment of inertia, is only cylinders initial moment inertia because put is moment inertia is initially zero. So initial moment of inertia of the system will be only five kilogram meter squared. But finally, so cylinder and put a boat are in rotational and circular motion. Final moment inertia of the system will be cylinders. Uh, Final moment inertia, it's the same, it's not changing because shape is not changing, so rotation is not changing, so moment inertia of the cylinder is the same, but put it is added to the system. And 5 plus 0.2, it becomes 5.2 kilogram meter squared. It is the final moment of inertia of the system, already calculated now. We will use now conservation of angular momentum, which is Initial angle moment of inertia multiplied by initial angular speed must be equal to final moment of inertia multiplied by final angular speed. Initial moment of inertia is five. Initial angular speed in the question it's given as seven, seven radian per second. Initially, it is uh, cylinder is rotating with seven radian per second. Final moment of inertia of five point two. Final angular speed is how much? Calculate that. So divide by 5.2, divide by 5.2, you will get the answer as omega final. So as I don't know, 6.73 gradient per second. This is normal what we expect because when you drop the put onto the surface of the uh, system, initially mass of the system only mass of the cylinder, but later after systems mass increases when you dropped onto the surface of the cylinder cylinder mass plus plus uh, put is mass or uh, if remember uh, we said that if the mass of the system increases the mass of an object increases moment of inertia also increases because moment of inertia increase angular speed must decrease yes it's decreased because 6.73 is less than seven so this is normally this um, what we expected from the conservation of angular momentum. Practice problem to the question number one. It tells you that a two kilogram bicycle wheel with a radius of 0.3 kilogram turns at a constant angular speed of 25 radian per second when a 0.3 kilogram reflector is at the distance of 0.19 meter from the axle. Yani initially, this is the reflector. By the time reflectors are reflects the light at night and then makes visible your bicycle. Okay, this is a reflector. So it is initially at 0 point, uh, three, 0 point 19 meters from the axial rotation. Then what is the angular speed of the wheel when the reflector slides to a distance of 0.25 meters from the axle? Yani, the reflector is starting to move away from the axial rotation. So it becomes it changes its distance to the x over then changes from 0.19 to 0.25 meters. Now question. Moment of inertia of the reflector increases or decreases? Increases because initially it is closer. But finally, 
it is farther from the extrapolation. And of course, if you are moved from away from the extrapolation, according to the equation m r squared, if r increases, moment of inertia also increases. Yeah, in, our initial is less than our final. Our final is greater than our initial. Because our final is greater than our initial, final moment inertia is greater than initial moment of inertia. Great. If moment of inertia increases, what happens to the angular speed? Decreases. Decreases, inverse proportional. According to the equation of conservation of angular momentum, I omega must be constant. So as moment of inertia increases, angular speed must decrease. So this uh, bicycle wheels, angular speed will be less than less than 25 because initially it is 25. Result will be less than 25. And we calculated 24. Same way, everything we are going to do the same again. There will be two components. One component is the wheel itself. Second one is the uh, bicycle. This is a reflector. Reflector follows a circular path. That's why you are going to treat this reflector as a point mass about an axis. An equation for moment inertia is mr squared. But bicycle wheel will be treated as a chin hoop about symmetric axis. Chin hoop about symmetric axis and a moment inertia equation mr squared. You are going to calculate the moment inertia one by one. Initial and final, because the bicycle wheel is a rigid object, its shape is not changing, its moment inertia is will not change, 0 0.8 in initially, 0 0.8 in finally, but reflector is changing its position according to the, uh, relative to the extrapolation. Initial moment inertia is greater, smaller, but final moment inertia is greater. Then add these two, calculate the initial systems, initial moment inertia, add these two and calculate systems, Final moment inertia, after that, apply conservation of angular momentum and then get final angular speed. Next problem is about uh, rotating stool. I don't know if you tried this one or not. When you are spinning on side, so there are some chairs which can spin about its axis. And then if you are uh, on this chair and then spinning, and then if initially your arms are open, then you close your arms. When you close your arm, you will see that you get rotating faster. So uh, this is this question is about that. All right, question is telling you that there is a student uh, whose mass is, pardon, mass is not given. A student is holding three kilogram mass in each hand while sitting on a rotating stool. Yes, there are two uh, masses as you see in each hand. One mass is in here in one end. Okay, this one is one mass, second mass, another mass, another end. There are two masses. And this uh, chair, stool chair, is rotating and it can rotate about its axis. When his arms are extended horizontally, this case, when they ex extended horizontally, means you are taking these masses to the farthest distance possible from the axis of rotation when extended horizontal means that the masses are one meter from the axis of rotation so uh, this distance uh, from the axis of rotation to where the mass is located is one meters one meter uh, and he rotates with an angular speed of 0.75 radian per second this is the initial angular speed 0.75 radian per second then if the student pulls the masses horizontally to uh, the 0.3 meter from the axis of rotation, yani initial distance is one meter, so he's spinning. That's why this mass follows circular path. But later he's pulling his arms and then keeping these uh, masses at the distance of 0.3 meter from the axis of rotation. So. Normally what you expect is you are pulling the masses closer to the axis of rotation, then angular speed must be greater, must get greater because moment of inertia decreases, angular speed must increase. That's why you will get a, you will uh, predict an angular speed which is greater than 0.75 radian per second. It will be greater than 0.75, but how much? So we are going to use again the same rule. There are uh, 
there are two components in this system. One of them is the these masses. Second one is student and still together. And then its question says that if the student, yeah, uh, if the student pulls the masses 0.3 meter from the axial rotation, what is new angular speed? Yeah, and you are going to calculate that final, and you already you predicted that it's it must be greater than 0.75. Assume the combined moment of inertia of students to go still together is three. You are not going to calculate the moment of inertia of the student and then still. You will just calculate the moment of inertia of the masses. So let's. Uh, apply the conservation of angular momentum, but first you have to calculate what is the moment of inertia of these uh, masses. Okay, so the first, there are two masses, as I said, one mass and second mass. Both are following the circular path as the student is spinning and the student is spinning. That's why you have to treat these masses as a point mass about an axis. Which means moment of inertia equation for these masses is will be m r squared point mass about an axis. M is three kilogram for the first mass. Let's calculate this mass initial five uh, three is the mass. Yes, it's three in these equations is given. Uh, initially, the uh, radius of the circle is one square root of one is one. So this is multiplication is three kilogram meter squared. This is the moment of inertia of the first mass. There is one more on the on the right hand, on the left hand. One mass is on the right hand, three kilogram meter squared. Other mass on the left hand again, three kilogram meter squared. And also question tells you that this combination, student and stool, has a, a combined moment of inertia three. So I also located in here the moment of inertia of student and stool, SS, student and stool, so it is three. Then total moment inertia becomes how much? Three is one of the mass moment inertia. Other three is other mass moment inertia, other mass moment inertia. Third three is the student and stool moment inertia. Three plus three plus three, total moment inertia uh, uh, in, uh, before the he closes his arms is nine kilogram meter squared. But after, because he's pulling these masses to a distance of 0.3 meter from the axis of rotation, so moment of inertia of the masses decreases. But the equation is the same again, because the masses are following circular path, you have to treat the masses as a point mass about an axis, mr squared. m is 3, but r now is finally 0.3. Square of 0.3, when you multiply them, you will get moment of inertia of the one mass on the right hand is 0.27, but sec other mass is also at the same distance from the axis. So again, same moment inertia will be calculated, 0.27. And we know that combined moment inertia of students to is 3 kilogram meter squared. It's given in the question. Again, add them to get the total moment inertia of the system. Add them all. 3 plus 0.27 plus 0.27. Final moment inertia of the system is 3.54 kilogram meter squared. Now we already calculated now what is the initial moment inertia of the system, what is the final moment inertia when student closes his arms to closer, making closer to extra rotation. So then uh, we apply the conservation of the angular momentum, law of conservation of angular momentum. So this law says that initial angle, initial moment inertia multiplied by initial angular speed must be equal to final moment inertia multiplied by final angular speed. Initial moment inertia is nine. Initial angular speed is given in the question as 0.75, yes. Final moment inertia we calculated as 3.54 and what is final angular speed? Divide by 3.54 and divide by 3.54. Then you call, divide them, you will get the final angular speed as 1.9 radian per second, as we expected, because we expected final angular speed to be greater than 0.75. Yes, it is greater than 0.75. 1.9 is greater than 0.75. Yeah, this answer is seems to be correct if we didn't do any calculation. And we didn't do any, calcula any calculation mistake, we did correct.